The Hyundai Tucson has been one of the most popular compact SUVs due to its unique and striking design. It also provides a very roomy and comfortable cabin along with lots of tech and safety enhancements which most of its competition misses out on. So, without further ado, here are 10 reasons why you should buy the 2024 Hyundai Tucson. Even if it's a compact SUV, the storage space in Tucson is ample. It has a cargo space of 41.2 cubic feet, with the rear seats up, and 80.3 cubic feet when the rear seats are folded down. The cargo space is one of the best in the segment. The interior space of his SUV is also sufficient for the drivers and the passengers. You get a maximum headroom of 40.1 inches in the front and 39.5 inches in the rear. As for legroom, you get 41.4 inches and 41.3 inches in the front and rear respectively, which is more than enough for a regular-sized adult. The Tucson is available with a powerful plug-in hybrid engine that produces a class-leading combined hybrid power of 261 horsepower and 258 pound-feet of torque. This engine is linked with a 6-speed automatic transmission that gets to 60 miles per hour in a time of 7.1 seconds which is quite quick for a compact SUV. The powerful engine provides you with a towing capacity of 2,000 pounds with trailer brakes and 1,650 pounds without the trailer brakes. Apart from the plug-in hybrid, this SUV is also available with a gasoline and hybrid engine. The gasoline engine produces 187 horsepower at 6,100 revolutions per minute and 178 pound-feet of torque at 4,000 revolutions per minute, whereas the hybrid engine has a combined output power of 226 horsepower. Tucson has an extensive list of safety features. Most of the safety assists of the Hyundai SmartSense come standard even for their base model. They include Forward Collision Avoidance Assist with Junction Turning Detection, Blind Spot Collision Avoidance Assist, Lane Keeping Assist, Lane Following Assist, and Rear Cross Traffic Collision Avoidance Assist. Likewise, you also get the Safety Edit Warning, Rear Occupant Alert, and Smart Cruise Control of the Hyundai SmartSense in the base variant. Furthermore, basic safety features like Downhill Brake Control, Rear Child Safety Locks, electronic stability control with traction control and brake assist, vehicle stability management, and tire pressure monitoring system are also standard across all variants. When it comes to exterior design, most compact SUVs look more or less the same. But with this latest Tucson, Hyundai has really made an effort to stand out in a crowded, compact crossover segment. In one word, the styling is bold. Even though this car hasn't changed much in its visual appearance, it still has a unique look with futuristic, angular, and aggressive design elements. It has an enormous grille in the front, which makes it stand out from the competition thanks to the daytime running lights (DRLs) that neatly merge with the grille. The headlights sit further down in a separate housing. Similarly, the rear end of the Tucson also looks very interesting and one of a kind. The taillights look like they were taken out straight from the fangs of an animal. There's also a full-length LED light bar at the rear that makes for a far more interesting look than rivals offer. Despite being a compact SUV, the Tucson offers plenty of wireless tech. Firstly, it is equipped with the Hyundai Digital Key, which allows you to unlock the vehicle doors, activate the panic alert, and even start the engine with just the help of your smartphone. The digital key can also be shared with up to three users so that even your family members can use this feature to take the Tucson for a drive. Moreover, this SUV even supports Blue Link connected car service in the higher variants. You can use it to unlock the vehicle's doors and start the engine remotely too, but it can also be used to turn on the climate control and adjust the heated and ventilated seats, along with many more remote functionalities. The overall comfort of the Tucson is one of the strongest features of this compact SUV. The seats are designed for comfort, especially in the top-level limited variant as the seats are leather-trimmed. You also get ventilated front seats and heated rear seats in this particular trim level. The 8-way power driver seat is standard across all trim levels, but the memory driver seat and 8-way power passenger seats are only available in the plug-in hybrid, hybrid, and the limited trim for the gasoline variant. 
Additionally, the dual automatic temperature control is also standard in almost all the variants to make your ride even more comfortable. The connectivity capabilities of Tucson are also one of its biggest selling points. All the base variants feature an 8.0-inch navigation touchscreen display with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. But if you opt for a higher trim level like the limited SEL, N-Line, and XRT, you get a larger 10.25-inch display depending on the powertrain. The higher trim levels even offer dynamic voice recognition and onboard navigation as standard. You can find the dual USB ports on all variants, but the second row dual USB ports and the wireless charging for supported devices aren't available in the base SE variant. In addition, the Bluetooth hands-free phone and the steering wheel mounted audio, cruise and Bluetooth controls are also included as standard across all trims of this vehicle. The availability of this car with hybrid engines helps it achieve very good fuel economy. The hybrid powertrain is the most fuel efficient, with 38 miles per gallon both on the city and highway, with a total range of 521 miles between fuel stops. Its plug-in hybrid powertrain has a sufficient range of 33 miles on electric power alone, with a 13.8 kilowatt hour battery, which is equivalent to 80 miles per gallon of gasoline equivalent. The plug-in hybrid Tucson can drive up to 420 miles with a combined fuel economy of 35 combined miles per gallon. Even though these aren't class-leading fuel efficiency numbers, the Tucson gives you an adequate range for any road trip. All the hybrid variants of the Tucson send their power to all four wheels, including the plug-in hybrid model. Each of these trim levels is equipped with H-Track all-wheel drive as standard providing better grip and performance on the road. However, the all-wheel drive system is an additional option of $1,500 in the gasoline variant with a slight drop in fuel efficiency and range. The front-wheel drive gasoline-powered Tucson offers a gas mileage of 25 miles per gallon in the city, 32 miles per gallon on the highway, and 28 miles per gallon combined with a range of 400 miles whereas the all-wheel drive gasoline variant has a range of 358 miles and with 23 miles per gallon in the city, 28 miles per gallon on the highway, and 25 miles per gallon combined. But the range difference of 42 miles may not be significant for most buyers considering the bump in performance and grip of the all-wheel drive train. Considering all the technology and safety features that this compact SUV provides, it's safe to say the Tucson is priced competitively. The base SE model starts at $27,250, the blue hybrid model at $32,325, and goes up to $45,200 for the top-of-the-line plug-in hybrid limited trim. But if you are on a budget, the SEL plug-in hybrid variant may be the best option for you at $38,475. It has all the tech features and practicality you need, and compared to the price you pay, it is definitely a bargain.